welcome friends dear friends today we will be doing on workplace writing what is the rationale behind this workplace writing first it applies apply skills to each participant and with their own content then it also transfers skills from the classroom environment to the workplace environment it supports participants learning to enrolling them in an interactive online learner community it also enables them their skills and develop good writing habits dear friends if we have to understand and workplace writing we should know how to go about the what is writing skills why are workplace writing skills important business and organization rely on efficient and effective write, written communication dear friends email is the most common way to communicate in the workplace yet it is very difficult to write effective clear emails with too little time and too many to read and respond to employees do not know how to write effectively for the workplace they are intimidated and frustrated misunderstandings occur much time is lost in writing and trying to read unclear communications effective workplace writing skills need to be intentionally taught practiced reinforced and valued yes training aspect is designed to be used by an instructor professional workplace supervisor manager or volunteer who will work with the learner in a positive and supportive way it focuses on structured writing practice using the participants own workplace vocabulary yes friends a workplace writing actually writing characteristics provide basic awareness about writing different types of writing effective words grammar spelling assessment of instructions and curriculum resources when you have to do so many things when we can have to talk about writing characteristics in detail speaking and writing guidelines for appropriate the uh, words function form style and tone organizing the list different types of writings complain to another business and complained about a product all this is needed response to a complaint is needed response to a complaint to the apology response to request for information opinion practice practice the three verbs tenses record of spoken words talking topics record of your spoken ideas record of a speech or minutes of a meeting all this is needed so for like that what we have to have we have to have a proposal or a guidelines or outline a proposal or a practice effective words in that transitional words and phrases examples same idea how to be conveyed or show importance or to show direct contrast or to show unexpected results show cause and effect direct language or indirect language or less direct language practice less direct language editing less direct language with proposals discussions if a grammar we have to talk about sentence structure no fragments no run on sentences no you have to have verbs verbs tenses charts parallel verb practice present tense usage past tense usage verb tenses verb tenses practice and use spelling spell difficult words improve your spellings assessment of instruction 
writing checklist feedback self assessment of improvement so many things are there in the workplace writing the most important characteristics of a good effective writing is you make a clear point a common mistake is length most of us do it in length there is information to back up your point time is the best solution for the quality of dialogue the writing is logical good grammar english and spelling readers become engaged rules are broken all over the place the great writers create are from the their heart not just created to profit or for gains that is an effective writing good writing inspires informs and involves your readers when you harness your full practical potential you will be able to accomplish this with less work than you think yes friends it will take quite few revisions modifications and testing before you get it right but it will happen yes the first draft has to happen so what is the difference between speaking and writing the differences are many advantages and disadvantages are of the communication skill what is the status when we learn our own native language learning to speak comes before learning to write it is a higher status modern influences are changing the relative status of speaking and writing in india we do find 80% are very good at writing but speaking only 25% we have to improve our spoken language the difference in structure and style we usually write with correct grammar and in a structured way we organize what we write into sentences and paragraphs we do not usually use contractions in writing we use more of formal vocabulary in writing we usually speak in a much less formal less structured way we do not always use full sentences and correct grammar the vocabulary that we use is more familiar and may include slang we should not use slang dear friends we usually speak in a spontaneous way without preparation so we have to make up what we say as we go this means that we often repeat ourselves or go off the subject however when we speak other aspects are present that are not present in writing such as facial expression a tone of the voice yes we cannot shout and speak in the same way we can be very polite and speaking we have to be in middle modulate ourselves if you speak in a good constant steady voice you can speak for hours together this means that we can communicate at several levels not only with words what is the durability one important difference between speaking and writing is that writing is usually more durable or permanent speaker and listener writer and reader that's what they say when we write our words are usually read by another person in a different place at a different time we read people who have written thousand years back we read today how speaking and writing influence each other today almost everybody can speak and write speaking can also influence writing influence of new technology modern inventions such as sound recording telephone radio television fax email have made or more or making important impact on both speaking and writing we have a english checker now aspect we should have a particular part of feature of something 
dialect, a form of language used in a specific region. Formal. These are the checkers. Following a set of rules, structured official status, level or rank in a society, spontaneous, not planned, unprepared, and structured, organized, systematic. So this is an English checker. We have to think of an aspect, a dialect, a formal, a status, a spontaneous, a structure. Let us discuss about the basic business writing. Dear friends, workplace writing cannot be taken place within one lecture. I am trying to give you the different aspects of it. We conduct for one whole year effective business writing. It's a one year course. I am just putting everything together to you all and I am going to give you the files which you can go through. The objectives of teaching this workplace writing is to teach that business letters are not the only type of business writings they may have to create. To teach that business writing is technical writing required in the workplace and to prepare to form types of workplace documents that is memos and formal reports. First, what is business writing? Business writing is a workplace writing which is a form of technical writing. Workplace writing is generally persuasive writing like a resume to persuade a potential employer to offer an interview. A finding report to persuade employed employees to follow certain policies or procedures in order to improve performance or correct errors of or a problem. What are the different types of workplace writings? You might have business letters which are most common formal letter to an external recipient, email transmissions, a formal informal business message, then a business letter that is sent electronically to one or more recipients within or external to the business. You being on the top management, you know all these things. But now, you are a trainer. You are getting trained to train your workforce. So, you can use all these things to train them. Memoranda, memorandum, a more informal style of a business letter that is usually sent to one or more business colleagues employed within the same business unit or company. Dear friends, reports, financial report, audit report, statistical reports, which are identified. Then you have contracts, manuals and PowerPoint which presentations to be made nowadays. So what is a general business state? Generally it is an expected and common business practice to keep photocopies, hard paper copies to any communication you send to another person regarding any business matter. This is the most important thing. Any communication you are sending, you should have a photocopy of it or the copy of it. Business writing is technical communication or technical writing. That is the most important aspect. So, what is this bis technical writing? We are going on talking about technical and workplace writing. Writing that refers information about a situation, product, service or concept to audiences of varying levels of technical knowledge so that each member of the audience clearly understands the message. The word technical means skilled, specialized and strict. Technical writing follows rules and protocols. How to create effective technical or workplace writing? Focus on the purpose of your writing. Focus on readers. Satisfy document requirement. Get to the point. Provide accurate information. Present your material logically. 
dear friend express yourself clearly use efficient wording make your ideas accessible use lists of some information format your pages carefully manage your time effectively pay attention to the word choice here i would like to emphasize you have to know which word to use like effect or effect data or data a lot a lot these are two words farther or further firstly or first these are firstly secondly they sound differently kind of or sort of principle or principle regardless or irregardless try and try and so all this is on the usage and style dear friends go through the file which we have given you here of the insert and aims file on usage and style it's a very big file it has almost more than 150 such words combined words it is a cliches are talked about what is a cliche and how you have to and for us season and how you have to understand redundancy and the usage and style verbosity how you can go about it and then talk about the glossary of usage is given the word starting with a to is that so you have how to you where to use a and an accept and accept advise and advise affect and defect so like that aggravate and irritate i already and already all right and all right so there are nearly more than 150 combination of words the dual words so please go through learn them and dear friends in this you say don't spy you can click on that you will get the format you will get the file then formatting a business memo what is a business memo almost all are used within an organization usually all informal in style normally function as a non sensitive communication we are short and to the point have a direct tone or language have a business tone no slang no jokes and you should have the memos should be do not require a salutation do not have a complimentary closing no no need for a so memo sample is given go through that then and in short the business memo should have a format then what is a business report a business report is a technical report designed to persuade readers a written business report communicates research findings progress evaluation proposal plans and other information regarding a business practice situations and projects then why should we create business report in a global society the ability to report findings and develop expansion plans and purpose solutions to business related problem gives company a strategic advantage in the world market so you should be persuading business you are going to persuade business leaders so you have to have a proper report making so regardless of what you write consider the rhetorical triangle first you are the writer you are your audience you should you should know who you are actually reporting this and the subject so this triangle is very important the writer the audience and the subject you should know the two main types of business report reader skimmers read quickly and look for keywords in report look for bulleted information we will be talking about skimming and scanning there are the techniques of reading and that in the reading aspect skeptics 
read every word and are looking for logic flaws and reasons to disbelieve or say no so there are two main types so you have to understand what type you are know your purpose and outline first outlining has again helps what your main points are what your supporting material is what other information you need to include formal business report as have format general sections have a long business format report a header the title page will be the header then letter of transmitter table of contents list of tables and illustrations synopsis and executive summary introduction methods of research how you have done findings and analysis conclusions recommendations and appendix this is a format for your business report you should understand and keep this now we should know the letter how a letter writing in detail i have given a full a complete file on letter writing please go through but body of the formal report should be like introduction background information and definitions and discussion sources and company may adapt or modify a particular format and type business report and when possible include only well planned documented graphic illustrations that help clarify and add to the persuasive of your message dear friends simplified language should be used practice your exercise and use very simple we call it as swe standard writing english use that sample practices you should complete it possible practice exercises may we all previously sent memos relating to this subject with earlier dates may be disregarded you can say you can say disregard previous memos on this subject how simple it is instead of that so you can have a you can write like this for example if you have to talk about consensus of opinion is that the end result will be a favorable in a positive manner you can just write one line opinion is that the result will be positive or favorable i would like to extend my thanks to you for your aid and assistance on the operation you can just say thank you for your help on the humboldt operation so simplify it simplify this wording there is an almost certain possibility that the entire complete order will not arrive by the assigned due date instead of that you can just write the complete order will not arrive on time the end result of our in house on site production activity is various different products and output instead of writing such big sentence you write small sentence our production results in a variety of products so there are many examples given here please go through before you go remember complete and submit your seminar evaluation form to full time staff that you can use it before you are leaving when you are addressing your people notify your student support services staff of workshop ideas you may have so these things need to be understood how you can you can just say how to address whom to address and have a great day so these things can be looked into it technical writing the link for good workplace and professional communication technical or business writing is very different from academic writing each has its unique purpose and format to follow technical writing is done in the workplace and centers around technical topics technical writing has unique characteristics and has specific audience dear friend why the difference time management variety of readers reading for different reasons yes 
business leaders don't have the time in their day to shift through many pages searching for the information they need to know so the differences in the technical writing will have many different readers reading different parts of the work so ceo and supervisor might all read parts that pertain to their job then discuss as a team the merits of the proposal we will explore the differences between academic and technical writing explain the components and style of technical writing these needs to be our way of thinking technical versus academic writing is knowledge you are the expert and in the academic knowledge you are still a learner so today you are a technical writer so you should need to be an expert you have audience technical background professionals in the field you have the criteria for evaluation is clear and simple organization visually appealing and easy to follow graphics charts and numbers are used very frequently to support conclusions clear concise and simply organized repetitive in nature highly defined structure format what you learn in your academics that becomes a foundation for you but you have to branch out the thesis statement looking into you can just say sunset in the west it's a simple statement so you have to understand that notice that the technical descriptions is clear concise and content so these are three c's of the trademarks of technical writing the three c's are clear concise and coherent find out what is the style style in technical writing writers have unique characteristics style is personal choice there is no right or wrong here but you can choose your style you can have tone expression of underlying attitude the tone can be casual objective persuasive enthusiastic serious authoritative but friendly also always present your material in a positive light never let the negative be presented positive approach only will make you go further clarity and cohesion you should have clarity and cohesion sentence steps place the main point at the beginning of the sentence don't make the reader work to find out after reading the whole thing where actually it is use one main clause in each sentence more becomes confusing examine your copy to make sure you vary the sentence length but aim for 15 to 20 words per sentence if you use the same length sentences the next becomes tedious to read so become a smaller read sentences avoid the repeated use of pronouns and confuse the reader assessment abstract notes should be assessment of classification of computation of development of elimination of requirement of these need to be used conciseness focus on strong words like assess classify compute develop eliminate require shorten wordy phrases replace long words with short ones leave out cliches cut out extra words that are redundant you can read in the usage and style about the cliches and redundant what they are language use tips distinguish facts from opinion include supportive statements choose your words carefully avoid using words like always and never active use of emphasis the order or the subject the doing create less wordy sentences 
place emphasis on the subject example company or person's name passive voice when we speak about active voice passive voice is the emphasis on the recipient of the action verbs with the to be form emphasize the receiver of the action avoid repeated use of i what examples of editing for conciseness you have to give the passage of the levy was accomplished through long and hard negotiation and door to door canvassing you can revise and write the levy passed through long and hard work confirmation of the voting results occurred yesterday the revised levy voting results were confirmed yesterday so technical writing provides clear communication in the workplace has unique format and a specific style of writing creates clarity and conciseness and coherence in writing dear friends when you close your welcome to a new style of writing hopefully the handouts that accompany these presentations will help you to take your first step to become a technical writer we are giving you the powerpoint files there are like writing a letter building a paragraph writing a composition writing a longer composition and effective workplace writing all these files please go through and you will be happy to understand that so much is there for the workplace writing and it will be helpful to you dear friends let us do a small exercise called tutorials make a block type letter format use main idea uh, that is a organizer web and give the new product of your company that was launched recently use this web organizer and give an account of the new product of your company that has been launched thank you friends welcome friends today we will be talking about corporate social responsibility yes friends csr the business in society we need to do that is the quality of the management it's a political economy the rights and responsibilities are assigned to a private industry then what is the corporate social responsibility corporate social responsibility is the responsibility of an organization for the impact of its decisions and activities on society the environment and its own prosperity known as the triple bottom line what is this triple bottom line people planet and profit yes we have to do with managerial ethics not only do responsible sustainable and transparent approaches it will help build brand and reputation they help strengthen the community and therefore the workplace and marketplace a solid business plan embedded into the business culture reflecting organizational value and objectives through strategic csr application will help to build a sustainable and profitable future for all we all the company recognizes csr is important to remain sustainable strong community support strong organization the reverse is also true as a global organization we will look for global strategies that have local relevance what is the aim of social responsibility cutting edge practices with a focus on csr issues that will have significant impact on the business interactive training style to meet your needs and enhance your understanding supported by case studies customized in house rat training for staff development to meet the core csr needs of the business dear friends we have to understand the csr aspects for discussion we can have the aspects as a its policy and governance stakeholders engagement environmental assessments 
supply chain, codes of conduct, community investment and evaluation, CSR and human resource management, reporting and communication, introducing a system-based approach to developing CSR, stakeholders engagement and assessing key risks and linking CSR to brands and reputation. Developing strategies for climate change, supply chain issues and community investment, implementing CSR programs and case studies, monitoring and measuring the impact of CSR programs, CSR and human resource management, reporting on CSR activities and developing an effective external communication plan. Dear friends, global trends and standards for CSR including ISO 26000 and global impact, the global compact, business, biodiversity, climate change and the environment, CSR, HRM and diversity, non-financial risk management, human rights and CSR, product responsibility, health and safety, supply chain and capacity building, corporate governance and soft law, community investment, socially responsible investment, company presentation from delegates with feedback from post leaders, staff and senior management buy-in. Communications and CSR, involving stakeholders in governance structures, non-financial risk management and assessment, sustainable reporting, GRI and stakeholders engagement, rising the bar, IFSC performance standards and equity principles, the bigger picture from the community investment to poverty, the global human dimension, human rights and the role of business. Dear friend, there are many key issues of CSR. Labor rights, child labor, forced labor, right to organize and safety and health. Environmental conditions like water and air emission, climate change, human rights, cooperation with paramilitary forces and complicity in extrajudicial killings. Poverty elevation, job creation, public revenue, skills and technology. So if we have all these things, the CSR emphasizes on fairness, historical overview and political continuum. Stakeholders on one side and minimalists on the other side. Isn't this what we have lost for? The law is necessary but insufficient. The law is reactive, the law is slow, business is change oriented and faster. So we have to have ethical responsibility, social responsibility, legal responsibility and economic responsibility. In content, community is a pre-modern. Pre-modern, modern and post-modern world are why we expect more from business and how the game is played. What is pre-modern? They are traditional entrepreneurs. But we are most important is the modern. Community are rational rules, bureaucracy, scientific management, relevance and reliance on experts and comprehensive rules. We should also feel the community of feeling exchanges like need to interpret, need to build consensus, lose connections and suspicion of authority. These are postmodern. But take a guess. This is from the Orthodox citizens. You can understand both ways how they have said it. CSR models. There are position responsible and we should know minimalist is a position, self-interested, social contract, stakeholders management, stakeholder stewardship. So we have to understand is the social, economical and environmental. That is a viable solution where you have sustainability, equitability and bearable. CSR issues are business of business is to do business. So there are 
350 possible definitive for CSR. Like one, corporate governance should be organized as a set of standards which aims to improve a company's image, efficiency, effectiveness and social responsibility. It is Kendall, he said. Operating in a manner that meets to it of exceeds the ethical, legal, commercial and public expectation the society has of business. That is the social responsibility. In a new terminology, it is hardly a new concept. E even in India, Kautilya has given us and dealt with the management of people and power commerce and taxation, standardization of weights and measures and more fees that was in the 3rd BC. Today we might call in a new terminology of Kautilya's Niti. Corporate citizenship, social responsibility, responsiveness and performance. This is what is the most important aspect. You can understand the corporate responsibility but before that corporate citizenship is the key word for everybody. Social responsibility and responsiveness and also performance. If we look into all these things, we can be understood in a better way. What is the objective? The objective of CSR to provide business, differentiate social responsibility and responsiveness, corporate and social performance, relate to per social performance to financial performance and describe the socially conscious investment movement. As we already discussed about the CSR definition, here we can just say impact of company's action on society, the simplest way. Corporate citizenship concepts are emphasize obligation and accountability to society. Um, Responsiveness is to emphasize action and activity and corporate performance, social performance is to emphasize outcome and results. Dear friends, there are three levels of CSR. First is the compliance level, philanthropy and greenwash level and innovations, key business strategies and lead fraud. The help aspect of 5H program always said you should follow all the three levels. The least industry can do beyond compliance is polluters pay principle. Level 1, whether the regulation poor or good, new or old, that is not the issue. You have to work on the regulations. The key level 2 or the key questions are, is industry vulnerable giving back something to the society? Voluntarily does it give? Actions inspired by a sense of guilt to the society, earning good name in the market or philanthropy. The second level two needs to have infrastructure for physically challenged employees, foundations, income generating for community, forestation, greening, community development and cultivation of in the public land and paternity use. That is the level 2. In India, we don't have paternity leave. We have only maternity leave. The women employees go for maternity leave. But men who have need to help women at home, especially during the maternity leave, they don't get leave. So that needs to be emphasized. Paternity leave. Some companies have introduced only for two three days but in other countries they do get one month is it part of a core business strategy is it adopted by the board the questions are so ash management ash brick factory should have it like quality circle empowering community r and r land for land distributed generation 
our center for power efficiency all for it and environmental protection all these are the csr level 3 the case for the minimalist okay let us talk about the minimalist what he needs to do they are the traditional stockholder model fundamentalism and liberal right you should be having a premises for it then minimalist critics of other models they distract from profit motive they are socialistic public good is suspect historical perspective is economic model the invisible hand of the market is protected the scientific social interest legal model laws protected societal interest modified the economic model is philanthropy community obligation and paternalism historical perspective is what was the main motive to keep governors at arm's length so evolving view points are csr considers the impact of the company's action on society and it also understands the welfare of the society and they do know the legal economic and legal obligations so self interest is defining me what is the self interest of the business self interest of csr is a premises good motives not enough profit for community cultivating philanthropy and reputation dear friends there are critics too who will say minimalist is too rigid all others ignore profit so we should know what is the social contract we should have in csr the social contract again says is says corporation as a moral person implicit and explicit contract with society with power comes responsibility so what is the stakeholder their management here again economic primary secondary is socio political and tertiary is the powerless the three stakeholder groups they are stakeholder to worship tells about caring for the territory help non beneficial parties hold interest aspire to high ideals so understand what type of minimalist at least you are interested model also needs the program social contract it should be modeling the contest understand each of the thing so dear friends companies projects and factory through we have given in the health aspect nearly 366 community services you can choose any one or few of them to implement in the company so social responsibility and ethics corporate social responsibility is the process by which business negotiate their role in society in the business world ethics is the study of morally appropriate behavior and decisions examining what should be done although the two are linked the most firms csr activities are no guarantee of ethical behavior dear friend ethical behavior is the most important thing and internet search turns up to 15000 plus response to corporate citizenship journalists increasingly rate business and ngos on socially responsible criteria best place to work must admire best or worst corporate reputation reasons for csr activity activities are important and even expected by the public and they are easily monitored worldwide you can or the organizations that can hire and retain the people they want they can contribute to business performance so social responsibility should be a continuum one you can have a grounded and opposing objectives but you can also understand there should be a balance of profit with social responsibility dear friends philanthropy philanthropy in the social activity can be economical activity but it should also consider the social aspect of it in corporate 
you have to have integrate csr globally incorporate values to make it part of an articulated belief system act worldwide on those values engage with stakeholders so the world is in your hands business ethics development the cultural context influences organization ethics top managers also influence ethics the combined influence of culture and top management influence organizational ethics and ethical behavior dear friend evolving context for ethics we should go the ethics and social responsibility should be together from domestic where ethics are shared international where ethics are not shared when a company make assertions that ethics are the same ethical solution ethical relativism the global which requires an integrated approach to ethics so business ethics should emerge and it should be a global business ethics how the companies can integrate ethics top management commitment in word and deed company codes of ethics supply chain codes develop monitor and enforce ethical behavior seek external assistance ethical performance in business external assistance with ethics industry or professional codes certification programs adapt and follow global codes so create some business and understand the global code of business ethics create the same opportunity for all businesses level the playing field they are needed in an interconnected world they reduce operating under the if business does not collaborate they may not like what others do four challenges to a global ethics global rules emerge from negotiation and will reflect values of the strong global rules may be viewed as an end rather than beginning rules can depress innovation and creativity rules are static but globalization is dynamic so corporate res- social responsibilities are this four part definition so the four part definition encompasses economic ethical legal and discriminatory that is a key philanthropic you should be so you have the responsibility of these for the pyramid of csr says that you have the economic responsibility then go to the legal responsibility ethical responsibility and philanthropic responsibility and all the four you have to have a now for example if you have a economic responsibility you are making a profit legal you are obeying the law ethical you are being ethical and philanthropic you are a good corporate citizen so stakeholders do view all these things so respectations of the free market go to a profit to so understand the business responsibility in the 21st century you can ask question why it is different from the past few years the society has changed so business and society needs to change demonstrate a commitment to society's values and contribute to society's social environmental and economic goals through action the environmental aspect has been added insulate society from the negative impact of company operations products and services share benefits of company activities with stakeholders as well as with shareholders demonstrate that the company can make more money by doing the right thing dear friend corporate social responsibility evolving view point atman and barrett action view say this three stage schema frederick csr and extens process view all these great people have come out with their views you can look into them carol cfp model integrates economic concerns into social performance framework extensions and reformations that also you can look into it non corporate social response performance and non academic research 
corporate social response, but non-academic research can also be done by different people. It has been done. You can go through that. Corporate citizenship. What is exactly corporate citizenship? Embraces all the facets of corporate social responsibility, responsiveness, and performance. Dear friend, we need to look into this bottom line of perspective. That is the people, planet, and profit. Socially conscious or ethical investing is the social screening. Is a technique used to screen firms for investment purposes. So, use some key terms to be added, and then main concepts of CSR is the firms have responsibilities to societies, including economic, legal, ethical, and discretionary. Social contract is very important. Stakeholders theory of Freeman you can read through and have policies, code of conduct, systems, compliance of management, reporting, accounting and reporting. All these are very important aspects in the implications of the enterprises. Systems approach is very important. Management structure is very important and most importantly plan do check and act method csr management is again plan do check and act sphere of influence who is to be influenced understand how you should influence what issues are to be influenced how are those issues to be influenced and Emerging standards of CSR reporting is Global Reporting Initiative. You can use them. Read the new challenges in service operation. I have given uh, here one my research paper on service operation management. You can go through it. And let us do a small exercise. Use persuasion organizer and give an account of CSR at your company. The persuasion organizer is given here. You can go through and give an account of the CSR of your company. Thank you. Welcome friends. Dear friends, now we will be talking about organizational development. And organizational development, let us talk about it. Training and organizational development which also will include organizational behavior too. Here we will be talking about the areas of responsibility, training forma and publications, soft skills, new employee resources, civil service preparations and customized training and development activities. Dear friends, organizational development is the human resource development. Is there any job description for each of the employees? What are the skills upgrading training needs for employees? Are there regular weekly personal meetings? Equipment and administration. Is there any list of the equipments, number and condition? Planning. Is there any action planning? Yearly, monthly and three months planning. Are there weekly personal meetings for weekly planning? Is there any planning of visits and services to operators? Dear friend, implementation of services to operators. Are there regular visits to operators? Did you implement support activities to operators? Recording and reporting. Did you document these visits to operators? Did you document the situation analysis, main problems and proposals of operators? Did you record your everyday activities? Did you record your services to operators? Dear friends, collaboration with partners in the field of the organization development. Is there any study about the loan conditions of the finance institutions of your region? There are so many ways. Format. Is there a folder with the following format? Action plan, activity report, records on services to operators, business plan format for operators, loan application forms of the finance institution of your region. Presentation of your own structure to national, international partners and visitors. Is there any presentation brochure or leaflet of your organization? 
organize your work with the help of the office holders in order to improve the organizational capacity of your own structure your organization should be well planned implemented real services of your clients and have a complete documentation and recording system of your activities and services to operators in order to organize yourself apply the following method folder method the method is called folder method now organize the office folder for separators insert the following in the each separator mission and objectives of your agency leaflet or presentation brochure fields of intervention and services in operator job description of each of your agents what kind of services may able to provide and what are my needs list of business services since the last year up to now your friend six months action plan for your activities and services to operators records on services operators six months activity report fill the folder now proceed to the folder organizational development od is a planned effort initiated by process special specialist to help an organization develop its diagnostic skills coping capabilities linkage strategies and culture of mutuality dear friends the development is a planned effort thinking and planning initiated by process specialties it is also a data collection it is coping problem solving confront and score linking strategies and organization goals too culture of mutuality is fostering of certain values and open and provocative system like openness confrontation truth authenticity proactiveness autonomy collaboration and experimentation an organization is a planned coordination of the activities of a number of people for achievement of some common explicit purpose or goals through the division of labor and function and through a hierarchy of authority and responsibility development is the act process result a state of being developed which in turn means to advance to promote the growth to evolve the possibility or further to improve or to enhance something two elements stand now development may be an act process or of an end state development means bettering something so it should be a process or result of furthering advancing or promoting the growth of an organization dear friends a system is an orderly group of lo- logically related parts principles and beliefs so let us understand the total view not a limited view relationship between the organization and the environment and the internal dynamics teams temporary and semi permanent and permanent and continuous improvement interpersonal communications individuals self awareness and self acceptance developing skills knowledge and ability of individuals they are friends in term teams and interface manage conflicts developing collaboration and attainment of goals organization stable entity which sets the goals to carry on the efforts begun by the outside consultant expert through an internal od facilitator from behavioral science let us understand the renewal is a process of initiating creating and confronting needed changes to make it possible for organizations to become more viable to adapt to new conditions to solve problems to learn from experiences and to move towards greater maturity dear friends od is a system and systematic change effort as using behavioral science and knowledge and skills to transform an organization to a new state od is also a system wide and value based collaborative process of analyzing behavioral science knowledge to the adaptive development 
improvement and reinforcement of such organizational features as the strategies, structures, process, people and cultures. The characteristics of OD are also, it is a system-wise process, it is a value-based collaborative based on behavioral science knowledge. It is connected, concerned with strategies, structures, process, people and culture. It is about organizational effectiveness. Dear friends, the, it is a long-term process. Yes, a very long-term process. It is the effort led and supported by top management to improve an organizational vision, empowerment, learning and problem solving process through an ongoing collaborative management of organizational culture with special emphasis on the culture of intact work teams and other team configurations using the consultant, facilitator role and of the theory and technology of applied behavioral sciences including action research. The important aspects include long-term efforts led and supported by top management, visions processes, visible, coherent, viable and shared pictures, empowering process, learning processes, problem solving processes, ongoing collaborative management of the organization culture intact work teams and other configuration, cross-functional team, consultant, facilitator role, theory and technology of applied behavioral sciences, action research. Organization transformation can occur in response to or in anticipation of major changes in the organization's environment or technology. Dear friends, these changes are often associated with the significant alterations in the firm's business strategy, which in turn may require modifying corporate finance cultures as well as internal structures and processes to support the new direction. Their friend, such fundamental change entails new paradigm of organizing and managing organizations. It involves qualitatively different ways of perceiving it thinking and behaving in the organization. We do have, like according to Bay, the aim of the or, uh, organization development are enhancing congruence between organizational structure, processes, strategy, people and culture, developing new and creative organization solutions, developing the organization's self-renewing capacity. Yes, friends, OD is a system of wide application of behavioral sciences, knowledge to the plan development and reinforcement of organizational strategies, structures and processes for improving an organization's effectiveness. Dear friends, organizational development is a long-term behavioral philosophy initiated by the top management. It relates to use of latest technologies and organizational process to effect planned change by establishing cultural framework based on vision, empowerment and employee well-being led to attainment of quality of work life and organizational effectiveness, thus creating a learned organization. Objectives of Organizational Development Program Individual and Group Development Development of organization culture and process by constant interaction between members irrespective of levels of hierarchy, inculcating team spirit, empowerment of social side of employees, focus of value development. Dear friends, employee participation, problem solving and decision making at various levels. Evaluate present system and introduce of new system, thereby achieving total system change if required. Transformation and achievement of competitive edge of the organization. Dear friends, achieve organization growth by total human input by way of research and development, innovation, creativity, and exploiting human talent. Behavior modification, 
and self management team as a basic unit of an organization implication most individuals believe in their personal growth even today training and development promotion to the next higher position dominates the organization philosophy majority of the people are desirous of making greater contribution to the organizations they are serving achievements of organization goals are how were subject to limitations or environmental constraints it is for the organization to tap the skills that are available in abundance dear friends this leads to the adopt of the following organization strategies for development what are they ask questions to resolve doubts listen to superiors advice support employees in their venture accept challenges leaders to encourage creativity and promote risk taking dear friends give additional responsibility to subordinates set high standards of quality empower employees initiate such suitable reward system that should be compatible if not more than the industry norms for groups one of the most important factors in the organization is the work group around the whom the organization functions this might include the peer group and the leader more people prefer to be part of the group because the group accepts them most people are capable of making higher contribution to the group's effectiveness they are friends allow the requirements invest in training and development of the group money and time spent on this is the investment of the organization leaders should also invest in development of skills and thus help create a position organizational climate let the team flourish teams are the best approach to get the work done apart from the above team enjoy emotional and job satisfaction when they work in groups leaders should adopt lead team leadership style and not autocratic leadership style to do this job should be allotted to the team and not to the individual it is not possible for one individual to perform both the leadership and the maintenance function it is therefore necessary for team members to assist leader in performance of his duties group should be trained in conflict management stress management group decision making collaboration and effective interpersonal communication this will improve organizational effectiveness empowerment is the cornerstone of the successful organizations leaders should pay particular at- attention to the feelings of the employees it should be understood the suppressed feeling and attitudes adversely affect problem solving personal growth and job satisfaction development of group cohesiveness create learning organization culture adopt win win strategy for sustained growth create cooperative dynamics rather than competitive organizational dynamics is in the organization needs and aspirations of employees in the organization must be met this leads to greater participation of the employees organization should adopt developmental outlook and seek opportunities in which people can experience personal and professional growth such orientation creates a self fulfillment prophecy people must be treated with due respect and considered important the credit of success must be given to the employee under uncondition promote organizational citizenship dear friend it is possible to create organizations that are humane democratic and empowering on one hand and a high performing in terms of productivity quality of output profitability and growth on the other it is the responsibility of every entrepreneur to ensure that the needs of the society are met dear friend top values associated with the organization development today increasingly effectiveness and efficiency 
creating openness in communication, empowering employees to act, enhancing productivity, promoting organizational participation. Dear friends, values are considered to be the most important. Empowering employees to act, creating openness in communication, facilitating ownership of process and outcome, promoting a culture of collaboration, promoting inquiry and continuous learning. Organizational development is planned change in the organizational context. In this context of change, it is necessary to refer to cut living. This, he is the great person who gave lot of ideas. He has provided two principal ideas. What is occurring at any point of time in a resultant in the field of opposing forces and production level at a particular point of time in the resultant equilibrium of some forces pushing towards higher levels of production and other forces pushing towards lower levels of production. The production levels tend to remain at the same level as the field of forces remain constant. Another example could be the level of morality. Dear friend, the second contribution is the change itself. It has desired a three-stage process. Unfreezing the old behavior, moving to a new level and refreezing the behavior at the new level. Three-stage model. Developing a need for change. Establishing a change relationship. In the first client system is needed to help and a change agent from outside the system. Clarifying or diagnosing the client system problem. Examining alternative routes and goals. Establishing goals and intentions of actions. Transforming intentions into actual change efforts. Phases 3, 4 and 5 correspond to the Levin's moving phase. Generalizing and stabilizing change. This corresponds to Levin's refreezing phase. Welcome back. Dear friends, the liquid model of organization change gives you the first order change, transactional, evolutionary, adaptive, incremental or continuous change. The second order change is a transformational, revolutionary, radical, discontinuous change. OD programs are directed towards both first order and second order change with an increasing emphasis on second order transformational change. What is the first order? What is the second order? Structure and the mission of the strategy. Management practices here in the first order. Second order is the leadership. Third order, is, in the first order it is the system and in the second order it is the organizational culture. So it is a transactional and transformational. The climate and the culture. The climate is the people's perception and attitudes about the organization. Culture is a deep-seated assumption about values and beliefs that are enduring, often unconscious and difficult to change. Dear friends, we have lot to look into the process. Diagnose, action and program management. The process consists of, the organization development process consists of three components. Diagnose, action and program management. In a diagnose component, it is a continuous collection of data about the total system, its, its subunits, its processes and its culture. Your friends, action component consists of all the activities and interventions designed to improve the organization's function. The program management component is designed to ensure success of the program. What it involves is what are its strengths, what are its problems, what are its unrealized opportunities, what is the discrepancy between desired situation and a current situation. Dear friends, the whole process can be addressed as individual, group, 
इंटर ग्रुप और ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल लेवल वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी शुड नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ ओडी इट देर आर मेनी इंटरवेंशन स्पेसिफिकली टू एड्रेस इश्यूज एट द इंडिविजुअल ग्रुप इंटर ग्रुप और ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल लेवल्स and this fact is the most important thing that we should understand the problems which are solved or the opportunities exploited the process is a diagnosis action evaluation action and in these activities are required to provide an accurate ac- account of things as they are needed for two reasons first to know the state of things what is and the second is to know the effects or consequences of action the first area of diagnosis is that of various subsystems of the total organization that is the teams the second area are the organizational process decision making communication styles relationships between group management of conflicts setting up of goals and planning methods so stages of body programs entry level contracting diagnosis feedback planning change interventions and evaluations so this theory of od which is called systems theory views organizations as open system in active exchange with their environment the systems theory is one of the most powerful action a system is a set of objects together with relationship between the objects and the their attributes it is also element standing in the interaction a system is an organized unitary whole composed of two or more independent parts component or subsystem and delineated by identifiable boundaries from its environment supra system here yeah, friends a system is an arrangement of interrelated parts so what we should understand is the issues regarding system theory all open systems are input throughout output mechanisms even a system is delineated by a boundary what is inside the boundary and what is outside the boundary dear friend more exchange takes place inside the boundary and outside the boundary why more inside the boundary and than the outside the boundary there is a open system how purposes and goals the law of the entropy states that all systems run down and disintegrate unless they reverse the entropic process by importing more energy than they use information is important to systems in several ways feedback is information to the organization from the environment feedback can be positive or negative deviation correcting feedback steady state or dynamic homeostatic systems all systems tend to get elaborated differentiated specialized and complex call differentiation requires coordination and integration understand the interventions interventions are sets of structured activities in which selected organization unit engage in a series of tasks which will lead to organizational improvement interventions are actions taken to produce desired changes dear friends the organization has a problem something is broken and corrective actions need to be taken it needs to be fixed the organization sees an unrealized opportunity something it wants is beyond its reach so featuring of the organization are out of alignment parts of the organization are working at cross purposes the vision guiding the organizational changes yesterday's vision is no longer good enough so od intervention are planned sets of action to change situations dear friends the interventions are very important generally od interventions follow a well planned overall organizational development strategy 
and get relieved as events unfold and our answers to the following question what are the change improvement goals of the program what parts of the organization are most receptive to the organization development program what are the key leverage points what are the most pressing problem in the client's organization what resources are available for the program in terms of client time and energy and internal and external facilitators furthermore od has two goals one educational and the other accomplishing a task goal so we should deal with real life problems and use several learning models interventions still work and help in planning a workshop on a strategic plan explore the need of long range plan for the organization learn how to formulate such as strategy by analyzing other strategies determining the strategic variables being shown a sequence of step for preparing a comprehensive plan and so forth actually make a 3 year strategic plan it is a continuous process so how do we discrepancy analysis a useful model of diagnosis and intervention could be termed as a discrepancies analysis examining the discrepancies or gaps between what is happening and what should be happening discrepancies define both problems and goals discrepancies require study and action to eliminate the gaps where one needs and where wants to go study of problems and opportunities a good part of od process is problem solving and provides technologies for studying and closing gaps a problem analyzer has an expected standard of performance should against with a compared actual performance a problem is a deviation from the standard performance so where are the goals representing gaps between where we are and where we want to go so types of intervention when we are talking so many intervention what are the types discrepancy contradiction in action or attitude theory behavioral science used to explain behavior procedure whether the best methods are being used relationship focuses on interpersonal relationship negative ones experimentation two plans tested before final imp- implementation of one dilemma imposed or emergent dilemma and determine choices organizational structure evaluation of structural causes of ineffectiveness cultural traditions proceed precedents and practices focused approach perspective draw away from immediate action to past and future blake and mountain consultant intervention acceptance gives client a sense of worth value acceptance support catalytic helps client to generate information for clearer perception confrontation client's value discrepancies beliefs and assumption prescription client told what to do for solving the problem theories and principles teaches behavioral science theory so that the client can diagnose the problem on his own and solve them as well interventions focal issues target the issues interventions do different things they cause different things to happen results caused by intervention could be variables you need feedback awareness of changing socio cultural norms and dysfunctional current norms increase interaction and communication confrontation education participation increased accountability increased energy and optimism dear friends when we classify the intervention we do get different types like diagnostic activities team building activities intergroup activities survey feedback activities education and training activities techno structural or structural activities 
process consultation activities. Yes, friends. Grid organization development activities. Third party peacemaking. Coaching and counseling activities. Life and career planning activities. Planning and goal setting activities. Strategic management activities. Organizational transformation activities. Dear friend, there are different types of interventions. Target group interventions designed to improve effectiveness. Individuals. Education and training to increase skills knowledge in the areas of technical task need, relationship skills, process skills, decision making and problem solving planning and goal setting skills. Dear friend, grid OT phase and clients role negotiation techniques and just calls OT. All these are very important. Target group is the intervention designed to improve effectiveness. Now, we should know how to reuse it. Teams and groups should know process consultation, role negotiation, role analysis technique, startup team building activities, education and decision making, appreciation, search conferences, quality of work, quality circles, field force analysis and self-managed team. Dear friend, there are interventions designed to improve effectiveness. Intergroup activities, process director, task director, organizational mirroring, intergroup relationship, partnering, process consultation, third party peacemaking at group level, survey feedback. Dear friends, you have to have a socio technical system, STS, parallel learning structures, MBO, and cultural analysis, confrontation meeting, and visioning. What is the organization to do? Real-time strategic change, survey feedback, appreciative inquiries, such conferences and physical settings. If we take all this, we can put together the organizational transformation. So there are eight steps to successful organizational transformation. Establishing a sense of urgency, examining market and competitive realities, Identifying and discussing crisis, potential crisis and major opportunities. Forming a successful guiding co uh, coalition. Assembling a group with enough power to lead the change effort. Encouraging the group to work together as a team. Dear friend, creating a vision. Creating a vision to help direct the change effort. Developing strategies for achieving the vision. Communicating the vision, using every vehicle possible to communicate the new vision and strategies. Teaching new behaviors by the example of the new coalition. Empowering others to act on the vision. Getting rid of obstacles to change. Changing systems and structures that seriously undermine the vision. Encouraging risk-taking and non-traditional ideas, activities and actions. So, OD practitioners have to consider the following in the planning and implementation. Develop an overall game plan or intervention strategies. So, structure activities to promote learning and changing for better. Structure to include the relevant people. Structure so that it, it is a problem oriented and opportunity oriented. And structure so that the goal is clear and the way to reach it, it is clear. Dear friend, high probability of success. Structured so that it contains both experience-based learning and conceptual learning. Structured so that the individuals are freed up rather than anxious and defensive. Structured to particular problem and how to learn to learn. Structured so that individuals learn about both task and the process. Structure so that the individuals are engaged as whole person, not segmented person. Dear friend, there are other sets of concerns. Maximize diagnostic idea, maximize effectiveness, maximize efficiency, maximize speed, maximize relevance, and minimize psychological and organizational strength. 
we have given here ebooks on organizational behavior and human resource management please go through those ebooks and understand more about the organization behavior and human resource now tutorials please make interventions as a presentation on any one of the following topics role analysis quality of work life team building intergroup conflict resolution self managed teams t group sensitive tree training appreciative inquiry visioning grid od or quality circles or mbo total quality management cultural analysis work redesign coaching and counseling presentations to be made 10 to 15 minutes best presentation will be circulated so thank you friends